Jace Anderson and Jason Alvin at Bobcat Stadium in Bozeman. The final score on Saturday, Montana State takes care of business, beating Wagner College by the final score of 47 to 24. And Jason, Montana State wanted to get going offensively in the first half. They wanted to establish the run. They did both of those things. They absolutely did. And it started on the first drive. They went 11 plays, turned the ball over, but they showed that they could get first downs and move the ball. And Isaiah Infante was a beast in the first half. You mentioned changing his number to 24. He looked a lot like Marshawn Lynch and running through people. He finished plays. And when he ran that 73-yard touchdown, he ran through a tackle about the 10-yard mark and then was off to the races. It didn't take him long to get back to full speed. He showed he could be pretty special in the backfield. Tucker Rovick made his second start at quarterback today in place of the injured Troy Anderson. Pretty good day, 23 of 34 passing, 310 yards and three touchdowns. He looked much more comfortable back there, and he operated the offense in a really efficient way. He really did, and maybe the most impressive thing I saw from him today was the two-minute drill at the end of the first half, and they were able to answer the bell, and he goes right down the field. He finds Kevin Cassis for the 10-yard touchdown pass. I've talked about it a lot, but that's a tough throw. He had pressure. There was a linebacker between him and Cassis, and he drops it over the top on the end line of the end zone, and a great catch by Cassis, and then to go right back to Kevin Cassis after a big kick return, 29-yard touchdown. Uh, he had a quite a day for did Tucker Rovig. Well, Montana State head coach Jeff Schultz said in the post-game news conference that Wagner's running back fight, Ryan Foles was as good as advertised. Fast, big, powerful runner. Had a 66-yard touchdown run midway through the second quarter that tightened it up. Actually tied the game at that moment at 14 apiece. But from there on out, Wagner had very little to do offensively. A big credit to the Bobcat defense because after that touchdown, five three and outs, three turnovers on downs, just a field goal the rest of the way for Wagner. Yeah, the Bobcat defense really figured it out. And Fulce was as, as advertised. He was fourth in the nation last year. Coming into the game, he was third today. He had 250 all-purpose yards and, and showed he's a playmaker. Jeff Cho said he probably expects to see that guy playing on Sunday somewhere or get an invite to camp, go undrafted or, or late-round pick. But uh, he's a special guy, and the Bobcats adjusted and, and shut him down late in the game. Well, Montana State improves to 2-1 and one on the season. Non-conference play is over. Big Sky schedule is here. Saturday, the Bobcats will go to Portland to take on the Vikings of Portland State will be there for you on the Bobcat Sports Network. With Jason Alvine, I'm Jay Sanderson for MSUBobcats.com.